Sue Bry's education in the Portrait Masters started several years ago. However, I started working with Sue back in 2012, and it was just a dream that she had to create an education platform that encompassed everything. The self-value stuff she teaches, posing, lighting, just everything, like a one-stop sort of education platform. And so she's eventually just started Sue Bray's education with the team and it grew into over a thousand videos on her site. The catalog is insane. She shows so many different photo shoots. There are featured instructors. The self-value piece is huge. She talks about knowing your worth and learning how to get through money blocks and how to charge industry standards so that you don't burn out as a photographer. She teaches people how to like get jump up to raise prices. There's pricing and product modules. Posing is like one of the the backbones of it too so that anyone you're photographing you are so confident you can make them look amazing whether it's groups or just a single person couples their styling marketing sales she goes through just every personality type whether you're an introvert or an extrovert and how to to market and sell and put a network and i mean i could go on and on we always joke that anytime someone asks a question i'm like there's a video for that actually there's always a video for that so I was a school social worker for 12 years. That was just what I always did with social work, nonprofit work, family therapy sort of thing. And I got really burned out, decided I was gonna be a photographer and realized there's no way I'm gonna quit my job with charging a couple hundred bucks for a session or even 500 bucks for a session. I knew it just wasn't gonna work out and came across Sue. And I was watching one of her courses that she had the same weekend that I had a friend visiting, my friend Jill, and she had breast cancer. And I was like, we're gonna do photos of you. And I loved the photos that I took of her, but I was like, I don't know. I I feel like I I'm not doing her justice. She really, she's a young, beautiful woman with breast cancer. She really wanted to tell her story. And I thought, you know what? So I called some of my girlfriends and I was like, what if we pitch in and ask this photographer named Sue Bryce to photograph Jill? So I emailed Sue and Sue wrote me back right away. And the next thing I knew she was inviting Jill and I to Paris. The way it happened is Sue won Australia's photographer of the year and her prize was a trip to Paris. And then she got my email right around the same time and saw Jill and was like, oh my gosh, this is what I want to do with my Paris trip is I want to do this for Jill. And so she ended up doing a documentary with Haley Bartholomew. Yeah, they did this documentary and photo shoot of my friend Jill. It's called The Light That Shines. So that's the first time I ever met Sue was when Jill and I flew to Paris and it just brought so much joy to her to have The Light That Shines. And it was just, it's just such a beautiful documentary. So then Sue ended up moving from Australia to Seattle, which is where I was living at the time. Because we had met in Paris and just hit it off or whatever, she asked me if I wanted to start working with her as an assistant in Seattle. So. Well, anyways, it's just been really cool to be part of this whole journey and to see where it's gone today. It truly is such an inclusive, amazing platform. And then you have the Portrait Masters. That is where you have different instructors like Lara Jade, Felix Coons, Richard Wood, like who are teaching other things like creative portraits or fashion photography. I mean, there's just so many different courses that you can purchase additionally through the Portrait Masters. And then we also have the Portrait Masters Awards and Accreditation. So we wanted to build a platform for a couple different reasons. One, it helps people to kind of get like street cred with their clients. So you can become an associate master's or fellow photographer through the Portrait Master's Awards and Accreditation. There's also a find a photographer feature on our website. So anyone in the world, if they're looking for a photographer in Michigan or in Poland or wherever, can click on it and find an accredited photographer in their area. And the photos that we get in our top 20 galleries each year are like mind blowing. They are just unbelievable. And so there's that part of it where people, I think, enter for the competition. But then the other part of it is just the accreditation. We have the Portrait Masters Conference that we do every year. We're doing two different shootouts. And Sue has just created beautiful sets and models and styling and all of that. So people can come and build their portfolio and learn from Sue Bryce Education mentors who have been photographers and just learning from the education for a really long time and have grown successful businesses. So the mentors and Sue and myself will all be there. Um, Animoto is something that I use for every single client for slideshows. During my sales sessions, I bring in like the emotion with beautiful music, you know, showing their photos that way. So Animoto. Sue loves Graphy Studio. She has a product line with Graphy Studio. They are in Italy. They make luxury boxes and albums and prints. And Lens Pro to Go is a lens rental company who's helped us so many times. They have amazing customer service. Spider Holster is another one I love. I cannot live without it. Like I cannot shoot without it. 
Sue was a posing master. And like, you know, when you're on a shoot and you like freeze and you're like, I don't even know what to do next. You have like such a catalog in your brain of different poses that work well for all body types and everyone. And I can like whip through a million poses because I've learned them and I've practiced them. And then it just comes so easy. It just helps so much. But also she genuinely wants you to succeed. She wants you to get better than her. She's tough love. You know, she's going to tell you things that are going to really make you take a look at what you can do to change your business for the better and not be reliant upon everything that's happening around you as the reason why you either are or aren't successful. And there's something really amazingly empowering about you being the one who can control it and who can decide if you're going to be successful or not. And she just has a great way of teaching that along with the styling and the lighting and the posing. I feel like that is the piece that people come for different reasons, but I think that's why they stay.